In this tutorial, you will learn how to check your child's iReady progress. In order to check your child's iReady progress, you can only access it through the student portal. First, you will open your browser and you will go to dateschools.net. Next, you will click on the students tab. Once you click on the students tab, you will go to the students page where you will click on login to student portal. There, your child will have to log in with their username and password into the student portal. Once they type their username and password, they will click login. This will take you to the student portal page. Here, you will see the tabs on the top and you're going to click on apps, services, and sites. This will take you to the app services and sites page. Here, you will scroll down until you find iReady. If you notice, there is a little star next to iReady. If you click on the star and it's yellow, it will prompt an iReady icon that looks like a paper with a pencil for faster access. Once you click on iReady, it'll take you to your child's iReady page. This first page asks that you pick a subject for either reading or math. For the purposes of this video, we are going to choose reading. This will take you to the reading page. Here, you will notice on the left-hand side, these are teacher-assigned lessons. These are lessons that the teacher assigns for your child to complete. These lessons are lessons that are on grade level. On the right-hand side, you will notice my path. My path is a path of lessons that has been determined based on the last diagnostic your child took. Every child has their own path individualized to their needs. On this page, you can also notice where it says, what is I ready? If you click on the video there, it'll give you a brief introduction to know how iReady works. Now, in order for you to check the progress of your child, you're going to go to the bottom to where it says, My Progress. Once you click on My Progress, it'll prompt you to go to this page. On this page, you will notice where it says, Time on Task. You will notice here there is a number in the middle. Here, for example, it states that for this week, between Monday of this week until Sunday, this child has completed 65 minutes of reading iReady lessons. If you notice, next to this, there is a little bar. In this bar, it'll let you know how many lessons your child has passed this school year. This child, for instance, has passed 64 iReady reading lessons so far. Below this, you can notice how it says pass rate. The pass rate lets you know that this child has had to complete 69 iReady reading lessons of which they have passed 64 of those 69 lessons. If you look on the right hand side, where it says reading lesson streak. On this side, it'll let you know how many lessons 
this child has passed in a row without failing a lesson. So currently this child has passed 24 lessons consecutively. Once you leave the screen, in order to see exactly what lessons your child has been working on, you're going to click where it says completed work. Once you go to completed work, it'll take you to this page. This page is going to list on this side the lessons that your child has been completing. For example, the last lesson this child took was a comprehension reading lesson and the topic was exploring figurative language. This child completed the lesson on April 16th and this child got an 83%. If you notice your child's score has a check mark and it is in green, that means your child has passed the lesson. You can continue to scroll down to see how they have done in previous lessons. If you look at the next example where it states this child did a comprehension lesson on examining figurative language in literature, this child completed this lesson April 15th and this child earned a 63%. A 63% is not considered passing. If you look below it, you will notice this child had a previous attempt on the same lesson and also did not pass the lesson before. Every child will be given two opportunities to complete a lesson if they fail the first one. If they fail their second trial, then it will move them on to the next lesson. So it is important for parents to look and track how their child is doing to ensure that children are passing their lessons.